Hi, welcome to Green TV. It's the show dedicated to green positive solutions and the third party and independent candidates that advocate for them. I'm Gail Farrell Parker, your host, and we have with us today retired Navy Captain Ron Fisher, 8th District Chair of the Independent Greens of Virginia, and Mr. Kerry Campbell, former Chair of the Independent Greens of Virginia and co-founder. Uh, Captain Fisher is a former um, General Assembly candidate for delegate from the 49th District and former candidate for U.S. Congress from Virginia's 8th Congressional District. Captain Fisher is an honors graduate and is of the U.S. Naval Academy. He has a master's degree in business management and Captain Fisher has a, had a long and distinguished career in the Navy. He's, have, he's served on nuclear attack and ballistic missile submarines and destroyers. And Captain Fisher is now the power behind PeopleNow.org, a universal movement and strategic plan for a peaceful, prosperous, just, and sustainable world. Mr. Campbell is an Air Force veteran and co-founder of the Independent Greens of Virginia. Welcome to both of you, and thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you for having us. Great to be here, Gail. Thank you. Mr. Campbell, uh, the Independent Greens, oh, how did they, how did, um, or what are the Independent Greens, how are they different well, from, the, sure. from other parties? Well, the Independent Green Party of Virginia is really Virginia's uh, third uh, largest party. It is the most active third party. Uh, on the ballot in Virginia, according to Ballot Access News, uh, in 100 years. And of course, again, this year in 2014, the Independent Green Party of Virginia has a full slate of congressional candidates in all 11 districts. Um, and I guess I could uh, start to run through them quickly. Uh, you've heard of this person, Gail Farrell Parker, on in the first congressional district, uh, John W. Smith on in the second district, uh, Justin Galdino on in the 3rd District, Colonel Albert Burkhardt is our candidate in the 4th District, uh, Dr. Ken Hildebrandt, and uh, we think this is uh, historic, on in the 5th District, and at the same time, or concurrently, his wife, Elaine Hildebrandt, on in the 6th Congressional District, uh, Tariq Salahi, uh, our Independent Green Party candidate in the 7th, Jerry Blay on in the 8th Congressional District for the Independent Green Party. Uh, he is part, of course, of a mother-son team, another, we think, uh, uh, historic first uh, in Virginia for a mother-son team to be on the ballot That's at amazing. the same time uh, in two different districts. So Jerry's on in the 8th. Uh, Barbara Hall is our Independent Green Party candidate down in the 9th. And, of course, Jerry's mom is Diane Blay, and Diane on in the 10th District and uh, Dr. Joe Galdo in the 11th Congressional District, the Green Party candidate, uh, our endorsee there in the 11th District. So I, th I think that's kind of a long-winded open about what the Independent Green Party is for. More candidates, less apathy. That illustrates what we're all about, encouraging people uh, to get off the couch and get on the ballot and get in the public debate to participate we always say that uh, participating is winning. If you're part of the process and offering positive solutions, then you win, the community wins, uh, our process is ennobled. So our uh, mission statement as independent Green Party folks is to excite, invite, and empower our neighbors to participate uh, in the political process. And then, of course, more trains, less traffic. I don't know if, uh, how quick I can hold that up, but we're dedicated to uh, building rail and saving lives. More trains, less traffic, because rail saves lives, uh, grows jobs. And finally, fiscally conservative and socially responsible. That means uh, balanced budgets, uh, balancing the federal budget, paying off the federal debt, uh, cutting uh, taxpayer-funded subsidies to zero for oil, auto, asphalt, cement, uh, is one of the ways that we start to do that. But I don't want to dominate the conversation. You may want to bring uh, Captain Fisher in. Well, Captain Fisher, you have also uh, run for office as an independent Green. What brought you to the Independent Green Party as opposed to one of the larger parties? 
Well, it was a very disappointing talk with the two parties. It's just unbelievably uh, what we're put, having to put up with today. And you can see that in the numbers. The confidence in all the, almost all the government is way low, in the, particularly in, in Congress and the people that are there. And uh, so I just feel like we have to do something about this. We've, we're fighting these wars, they're putting up money for wars, and uh, we have a, a police state almost with the NSA and spying on the people. So, uh, but it, and it's if item after item just can't keep up with all the, the horror stories that are going on with the government. And uh, do the two of you see uh, these alternative energies as an alternative to war for oil? Absolutely. A absolutely, yes. Well, this is, it's almost perfect. We've got f three million or so people working in the Pentagon, or, and we could turn those people around and be working on high-speed rail, rail, uh, trans transit systems, our alternative energy sources, uh, one of the things I, I, I push is building affordable housing on land. We'll go ahead and put the solar panels on them and uh, use the modern construction techniques. The big problem, of course, in the alternative uh, of housing is the land is usually very expensive, especially near cities. So we could, a lot of uh, extra land that we don't need the military for. And the people working on this with WPAs, all kinds of things we can do. What Captain Fisher's talking about there really is what the Independent Green Party and the Green Party's Green New Deal all across the country and around the world is, uh, is showing that uh, eco for the economy means jobs. Solar jobs, wind jobs, geothermal right. jobs, rail jobs, and that means money, that means profits. Uh, the Redskins know that. That's why they put the solar uh, panels on their stadium, as did the Seattle Super, uh, Seattle Seahawks, uh, the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, solar is a money winner. And just a personal story, as you well know, uh, Captain Fisher, uh, uh, my house in North Springfield has 51 solar panels, geothermal heating and cooling, and it is a plus house. A plus house, of course, means that uh, your house is uh, producing more energy than it consumes. And uh, actually, uh, I just got this in the mail today. Uh, this is a check uh, for uh, the production uh, this month uh, on, on, the, uh, on the house. You mean so I they pay you they pay instead me. of you paying them? Isn't that lovely? <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Yes. <laughs> Very nice. Well, tell me, uh, why should a, a candidate run as an independent Green? Well, I, I, independent means that you do think for yourself. And the Greens, of course, have been known throughout the world for being against the wars, being a, for a, a environment, and uh, just everything. Of, I think most of the people Really, if, if, if we could get to them and understand it, would be uh, would be have to be for the greens compared to the, the, the people we have now. And um, it, it's a, it's a, it was just a great idea. I really appreciate the fact that uh, Kerry came up and you, Gal, and the other people that have helped start it, Joe Odo, have done this. This is wonderful. Well, what we want to say, really, to anybody who's who's watching, is we have elections in Virginia every year. Um, of course, the congressional elections are this year in, in uh, 2014 in November. We are already looking ahead to 2015. And if you're watching, uh, please call me, 703-351-1235. Uh, That's 703-351-1235. Uh, the Independent Green Party would love to work with you as a candidate for next year. 2015 is going to be huge. We have local elections. Uh, for County Board of Supervisors uh, in Arlington, in Fairfax, in Loudoun, uh, all across the state of Virginia. Uh, and then there's the big state elections in 2015, House of Delegates uh, and um, the uh, State Senate. Be optimistic. The Washington Post reports today that the Independent Green Party leaders, Tammy Prada, and Floyd Bain, you both remember Floyd Bain, was the Independent Green Party candidate for Congress uh, in the 7th Congressional District in 2010. He ran again in uh, 2012, and both times the Independent Green Party's Tammy Prada managed the campaign. Well, according to the Post today, it was the strategy of Tammy Prada 
uh, the campaign strategy and the structure that uh, helped uh, the uh, new nominee there for one of the larger parties, Mr. Bratt, Professor Bratt, uh, helped him to uh, uh, be the nominee and helped to lead to the uh, the uh, defeat of the incumbent Cantor. So what you're saying is that by being a, a candidate, you can have an impact even if you don't get elected? Is that what you're saying? It's exactly Absolutely. in the debate defines the debate. Certainly, okay. certainly. Well, what do you say? A lot of people say that independent and third party candidates cannot be elected. What do you say to those people? Well, of course, uh, I say, remember Jesse Ventura being elected to uh, governor in Minnesota, or Bernie Sanders, who is the U.S. Senator from Vermont, mm -hmm. elected as uh, an independent, and perhaps uh, many people are talking about him running as the Green Party candidate for president uh, in 2016. Uh, those are, and of course, Mike Bloomberg, a friend of the Independent Green Party in Virginia, um, the man who the Independent Green Party put on the ballot uh, for president in 2008. Mike Bloomberg was, of course, elected as an independent. Uh, th three times uh, in New York City uh, as mayor uh, and all across Virginia. We have had uh, folks elected um, in Fredericksburg to city council. Uh, remember Tom Moss, uh, the year that he ran as the Independent Green Party's nominee for treasurer. Uh, Tom Moss was the, uh, when he was a member of one of the two larger parties, uh, was the longest serving Speaker of the House of delegates in uh, Virginia history, and thanks to our fourth congressional district chairman, Albert Burkhart, who's Tom's cousin, uh, when Tom wanted to run again, he reached out to us and ran as an independent Green Party candidate and was reelected. So there are many examples uh, uh, of independent Green Party candidates elected uh, in Virginia and uh, yeah. elected elsewhere. Who, who have and, I forgotten? Uh, uh, well, I think you've covered just about everybody, but I wanted to mention that also by running, you also really learn a lot. I learned a tremendous amount about the voters, about what's going on in the whole country. And also, we made some really good statements. I believe I won most of my debates. I didn't, uh, it was just almost impossible to win because of the of the popularity of my opponent, but I, but I learned a heck of a lot about what needs to be done and what, uh, and, and and also about the about what's going on in the world. And I see. Well, the independent Greens <clears throat> are, are you associated with the Green Party, the National Green Party? Well, the independent Green Party, in in my opinion, is the a, a broader based state party that includes, as, as you well know, every time uh, the uh, Greens and the other Greens in the states have run a candidate, and they usually run one a year, um, we have endorsed that candidate and stood aside uh, from our own candidates. Of course, we, as mentioned here, running a full slate again this year, we are broader and more inclusive. And of course, uh, the Independent Green Party of Virginia includes liberal progressives like Captain Ron Fisher, uh, conservatives, uh, conservative Greens like myself, and everybody uh, in between. So it's a, a bigger and broader tent. Yet I think that the uh, Patrick Kelly, who founded the Green Party originally, had it right. Uh, not left, not right, describing the Green Party, but out in front. And so that's what I think the Green Party has tried to do. Ron, what would you add? Well, I agree with, I agree with that. It, it, the, the fact that you, we are small, we've got a lot of candidates, but you don't have a lot of people telling you, hey, here's how, what you have to do or anything. So I, I've enjoyed every minute of being part of this organization. It's several years here now, thank you. And so you have, uh, the Independent Greens have a full slate of candidates that they're supporting in this year's election. What about the future? Where does the Green Party go next? Well, I, the in, in the Greens. Well, what, what I've really looked at here, the country is, has some horrendous problems. These wars are absolutely illegal. We've really got to end those, and we've got to get going. So, so I think we really need to uh, push a, a, a common agenda and not, not non-hierarchical, not having anybody tell you, hey, here's what you have to do, but really get to the core of these problems. I, there's plenty of money, uh, plenty of resources. With technology today, it's a crime for any kid to go to bed hungry in the world. And we have three million 
school children homeless in the in, in the country today. Three, I mean, well, a million, a million homeless. Despite the fact that we have every year we have billionaires, we have this tremendous wealth in equity, where the, the, the basically with the help of the Supreme Court here, they can they can buy these elections. We, but I, but obviously, if we have really good candidates, they won't be able to buy the elections. And we need to do. But we have a lot of work to do. And I think it's a great place to work. So please sign up and run the, for Congress next well, year. One of the whatever. things. One of the things I love uh, to, uh, about Captain Ron Fisher of the Independent Green Party to hear him say one of his phase, favorite favorite phrases is uh, "Do not despair." <laughs> and uh, so the Independent Green Party's job it seems to me, is to stay optimistic and, and provide a positive vision forward to these uh, issues and challenges that Captain Fisher described are opportunities uh, for Absolutely. the independent Green Party to come out here uh, with uh, We the People Now uh, has a very uh, detailed map of solutions uh, that can solve these problems and it's the independent Green Party's job, I think, uh, for us to find new candidates, and we want you, if you're watching, we want you to join the Independent Green Party and run as a candidate for local or state office in 2015. Um, once again, my phone number is 703-351-1235, or you can go to the Independent Green Party's website. Uh, that's uh, votejoinrun.us. Of course, just Google uh, Independent Green Party to find us. Uh, to reach out to us and uh, also you can enjoy our Independent Greens YouTube channel where you can see uh, Captain Ron Fisher saying we need more trains less traffic and, and praising candidates like Janet Murphy uh, and so many others that, uh, that we've worked with. So our job and our vision, the Independent Green Party's job and vision, I think is to provide solutions like we the people now.org. Am I getting the website? Well, I mean, it's certainly now. Peoplenow.org. Either one will reach the website. But there we have a what I call the the uh, table of priority actions of jobs for everybody. This is, we absolutely can afford this because what produces they'll pay more taxes or whatever. Jobs for everybody, and we yeah. need to solve the wealth equity. We could have, for example, a property tax, net assets well, I, property tax. I no. know there's a, a lot of discussion about um, about the your, some of these ideas and there's also a lot of discussion about the debt. So with with the independent greens being inclusive, does everybody agree on everything? within the Independent Green Party. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Not by a long time. No, no, no. I, didn't, I say that. I'm not asking anybody to endorse this. Just look at it and think about it. But I have had a lot of people uh, feed information into it. And we don't have all the answers. We get more. But, but uh, we don't need a, an endorsement. I call it non-hierarchy. Non There's no sacred rulers and non Partisan, obviously, we got to get uh, I, I, a lot of people out there that are working on this all over the world. We're just not working together. An idea here is try to get them, us working together so a little bit to better. Together. I think okay. when the Independent Green Party candidates certainly all agree, there there are some fundamentals that that if you see an Independent Green Party candidate, this is what they're going to be for: more trains, less traffic, first and foremost, right. and more candidates, more Independent Green Party candidates. You mean to say traffic. you believe that just by having more candidates? There can be a change in the process. Well, we've seen it. We, we've seen it, and the proof is Virginia Rail Express is better than it ever was. We've had candidates advocating for that across uh, two decades, three decades. Uh, and uh, rail ridership is at its highest in the history of America. Uh, Metro Rail now is in its fourth year of, uh, of profits. Uh, we are almost ready here, a month or two away perhaps, to opening the first phase of Rail to Dulles. How many meetings did we go to across 20, 30 years mm -hmm. to work work with the community, work with uh, uh, folks uh, out there, office holders? Um, we, as uh, you well know, Gail, we've both been the chair of transportation committees and budget committees and um, planning committees and uh, land use committees. All of this is engagement, and that engagement, uh, what's the phrase, Ron, is, is a positive thing. The, 
the arc of the universe bends, bends toward, toward justice. Justice, okay. <laughs> it's time now for us to go to a candidate spotlight. It's an independent Green candidate, Diane Blay, who has successfully gotten on the ballot for Virginia's 10th Congressional District. Diane, let's hear from you. Hi, I'm Diane Blay, the independent Green candidate for the U.S. House of Representatives in Virginia's 10th District. I've been a volunteer in many organizations and a businesswoman, a mother of four and a foster mother to over 100 children. Last year, I became a grandmother. I'm running for two main reasons, how the federal budget is spent and how elections are run in our country. It may seem right off that how elections are run in our country is insignificant compared to the importance of the federal budget. But I believe how elections are run currently has many long-standing negative effects. Three areas need change. The money in politics, gerrymandering, and term limits. Politicians, at least those who are voted into office, are government workers and should accept no big money donations. I am running my campaign without accepting any money. Every corporate donation is basically a bribe. And although politicians say they are not swayed by these donations, Consciously or subconsciously, they are. The effects of these bribes are seen in many bills that harm our people, especially our children. Legislators choosing the shape of their districts is a problem that many think is responsible for the partisan, dysfunctional Congress. Gerrymandering needs to be eliminated. And the last point about elections in the U.S. Congress, indeed even the state government, we need term limits. We want experienced people in Congress, but Congress was not meant to be a full-time job for life. The Independent Greens preach more trains, less traffic. We need to remove the barrier at the federal level that prevents the building of rail. The current policies say to municipal and state governments, if you build roads, the federal taxpayers will pay 80%. If you build rail, the federal taxpayers will pay 20%. The playing field should be leveled so that our municipal governments and state governments can solve transportation issues with mass transit. Rail returns $25 to the community for every $1 invested. Rail will make us safer, help us to have cleaner air and cleaner water. We will create new green jobs and reduce the debt by building rail. We need more trains, less traffic. We need to cut military spending and put that money into our people, our infrastructure, and paying off the national debt. The federal debt, now at $17.5 trillion, makes the interest payment on that debt the third largest expense in the federal budget. The largest expense is the military. We are at peace. There is no reason that over half of the federal budget should be spent on defense. The incarceration rate in the United States of America is the highest in the world while the United States represents about 5% of the world's population, it houses about 25% of the world's prisoners. We need to decrease our prison population and let nonviolent drug offenders support and be with their families. We can grow the economy, create new eco jobs, cut dependence on foreign oil, balance the budget, and eventually pay off the federal debt. We live in a great country, but if elected, I, Diane Blay, will work unceasingly to make it even better. Thank you. Thank you both very, very much for being here today. It was a pleasure to have you on and to find out more about who the Independent Green Party is and who the Independent Greens are. <laughs> thank you so very much, Captain Fisher, for being here. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Love enjoyed you. it very much. Thank, thank you. you. Gail Ferret Parker, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much.